So this is Xkimi's Z6 Polar, a truly unbelievable small footprint projector. The Z6 Polar is around one third the size of the Xkimi H1. What makes it also impressive though, is while remaining very portable, the Z6 is a native full 1080p projector that literally fits in a bag. So let's go find out what corners Xkimi have cut, or if this projector is truly worth buying. <laughs> So the last time I actually checked the price on the Z6 Polar, I believe it's anywhere between $550 to $600. So let's get this bad boy open now. I picked the bluntest knife in the world, so my apologies. So upon opening it, we find what looks like... Ah, okay. So this is quite a handy little device. We've got a multi-adapter, so you're covered if you're in Europe, US, or even in the UK. We've got one with the uh, CC Aurora as well. So that's a quite a nice little touch. And finally inside the box, we get the Z6 Polar. I'm a little bit disappointed because no 3D glasses have actually been included which is something that we got with the CC Aurora and that was only a 720p projector and it was a little bit cheaper so a little bit annoying in that regards so with all of that said and out the way let me tell you about those all important facts and figures and see exactly how it stacks up with this competition native resolution of 1920 by 1080p the DMD on this thing is 0.33 as opposed to 0.45 is what we usually find illuminance is a little bit lower 700 ANSI lumens contrast again 5000 to 1 nothing to write home about compatible resolution it can interpret a 4k signal it's not native 4k let me get that out of the way display technique is DLP projection ratio 1.5 to 1 and the mirroring display it will support both airplay and dnla so if you got android or ios you're good to go dual band wi-fi is also a nice addition and finally the z6 comes in at a weight of under 0.800 kilograms making one of the lightest projector in its class so moving on to the actual retail packaging upon opening the box you're going to be greeted with a big slab of white plastic which is what the projector is made of it's made of ABS there's no metal on this projector but honestly first impressions just looking at it it looks really nice I love the crisp white look and I've got nothing much to complain about the design on the base is very similar to the other Xkimi projector like the Z4 Aurora as I mentioned and on the top it's got these play pores so you've got some touch buttons on the top of the ABS plastic and in terms of what else is left you've got three compartments and that is pretty standard for Xkimi with the way they present their projectors and we've got this little envelope and inside of which we've got the warranty card and we've also got a very simple instruction manual and in box number one we find the power brick nothing special and then we got box number two which we find ah okay so this is the same remote control as they had with I can actually remember if it was the CC Aurora but it looks very damn familiar the remote control has got a little switch on the back but we'll take a look at that later and in the final box you got a power cable to go with the brick but there's no HDMI cable included so that was a bit sucky as well in terms of the user experience getting from this to a fully corrected image the process only takes about five minutes that's thanks to the four corner keystone correction as we've seen on the Xkimi H1 it's pretty much on point in terms of the sharpness on this projector as you can see from the four corners on this test image there's no issues in terms of sharpness the setting menu has also had a little update and it makes it a little bit more user friendly with a nice clean simple layout you can even change stuff like the boot music which is a bit random but I guess they've thrown it in there they've also updated their tv butler app which was nice to see it's got a more cleaner look about it it's maybe not as polished as the one found on the media projector but again this app is very useful when you're clearing memory i also like the live image correction when you're changing image settings like brightness contrast that's a nice touch and honestly this projector has got more than enough settings and the m star 838 cpu might not sound like a lot but it's more than adequate in running this projector very smoothly as the Z6 is intended as a portable 1080p projector, there is an anti-scratch resistant coating over the lens area, so you don't have to worry every time you throw this into a rucksack to take it over to your friend's house. In terms of the bottom of the projector, you've got the speaker area, which is the outer circle, and then you've also got a quarter inch thread. The bottom two feet can be removed to use Xkimi's own projector ceiling mounted brackets, or you can use any adjustable bracket from Amazon. The Harman Kardon speakers, while the clarity is very clear, the max volume is a little bit on the low side, so I would definitely recommend using external speakers, especially if you want to watch movies. The Z6 also has a pretty good built-in screencast app. I tested this with an iPhone 7 and a Galaxy Note 8, and again, the sound didn't go out of sync, the video didn't start pixelating, and there was no kind of drop connection, so overall I was pretty pleased with the experience.
And to finish things off, I did what I do with all of my projector reviews. I plugged in the same test image sequence and ran it through. And again, I was pretty, overall, I was pretty pleased. Now, the images don't pop and there's not as much depth as there is on some of the other projectors that I've tested. I would say that this thing falls in the same realms as Xiaomi's Media Projector, maybe a little bit duller in terms of overall brightness, but the Xiaomi Projector had a higher contrast ratio. I think that's what's missing. But once you properly calibrated the image to your liking and to your screen and your environment as you can see the image it can produce is pretty damn good and you're actually getting something better than 720p or WXGA so for a high-end WXGA projector or a portable one you're paying about four or five hundred dollars anyway so might as well pay the extra and get the higher resolution projector it also had no problems playing 4k content obviously down sampling it to 1080p in the darker scenes those missing extra ANSI lumens really do show and that lower contrast ratio but again if you're in a pitch black environment you're going to have none of these issues the projector doesn't also suffer from too much motion blur especially in a scene like this yes there is definitely some but it's still a lot better than other projectors that i've seen around this price point so i'm not going to complain too much the amount of settings that the projector offers really does give you a lot of room to correct kind of uh, errors or you know depending on your screen if you're using a white screen a gray screen anything like that so you have a lot of options if you want to know more about this projector or if you've got a question feel free to leave me a question or a comment and i will do my best to answer them also guys remember that the giveaway is still open win a projector details in the video description but this is a great portable projector at this price